My dear viewers, you are all warmly welcome to our Vidya Lakshmi YouTube channel. So I am Mrs. Lata from Botany Department. So today we are going to see the topic is cell wall. Okay. So already we studied the previous uh, uh, in that video the cell structure. Okay. The structure of the cell wall we studied. Now we are going to learn the cell wall. Okay. So what is the cell wall? Actually, the cell is covered by a, a protective layer is known as a cell wall. Okay. The cell wall is first discovered by, okay. actually the cell is first discovered by the Robert Hooke and the cell wall is also discovered by Robert Hooke. Okay. That is the photo of Robert Hooke. The Robert Hooke observed the cell under the microscope. Okay. Actually, he observed the cell in the honeycomb like structure under the microscope. Okay. The honeycomb like structure is resembled to that that is your cell. Okay. So, the cell identify pannar. Okay. The cell wall, what is the structure of the cell wall? Okay. Today, we are going to see. So, what are the organisms have cell wall? Yedukala cell wall irukke, yedula cell wall illa abdeen paathona. So, the animals they do not have a cell wall. Okay. The plants they have a cell wall and bacteria not only in the plants okay some of the bacteria and the fungi all the bacteria and fungi they have a cell wall okay so what is the important of the cell wall cell wall is a very important for protect the cell okay the inside the cell we can see the all the uh, inclusion, cytoplasmic inclusions are present. Okay, actually, cell wall is the outermost layer. I so next to the cell wall, cell membrane is present. So next, we can see the protoplasm, cytoplasm, and all the cell organelles are embedded in the cytoplasm, isn't it? So this all protect pantra. That we have to do. Cell wall veno. So cell wall is the outermost. So cover of the cell abin so yeah, cell wall is the outermost protective cover of the cell abin nam solrom illaya ad protect panna koodiya or layer okay so actually which is absent in the animal cells it was first discovered by robert hook okay so this is actively growing region okay in this region the cells are undergoing the divisions adanalada actively growing region abin nam solrom actively growing portion abin nam solrom okay so it is made up of different complex materials in various organism okay each and every organ has a so defined cell wall material. So each cell wall material is here differ from each and every organisms. Okay. The example for that is a plants, it has a cellulose, okay, hemicellulose, pectin. A lignin, sabrin, these are cell wall materials. Okay, what about in the bacteria and the fungi? If fungi ke paating ya abrina, chitin is the cell wall material. Sabrina, I am told. Okay, ma. So what is the cell wall material in the bacteria? Abrina, paating na. This is composed of peptidoglycan. So peptidoglycan or mucopeptides. Sabrina, I am told. So that's a peptidoglycan is the cell wall material of the bacteria. So what about in the fungi? Fungi is made up of chitin. The cell wall of fungi is made up of chitin and fungal cellulose. Is present and what about in the algae algae has a cellulose galactans okay and mannans these are all the cell wall materials for the in the algae the cell wall of the algae so each and every cell wall of the organism has here so different cell wall materials okay so this is the bacterium you can see the cell wall materials okay this is the outermost layer so cell wall and another one is a cell membrane so in the outermost layer la da irukna, the cell wall material peptidoglycan so idula da peptidoglycan irukla na mucopeptide abingiradhu irukku okay what about in the plants so already i said the plant cell wall is made up of cellulose and another one is your hemicellulose and next one is your pectin Okay, so this is your cellulose, and next one is the hemicellulose, and pectin, lignin, cutin, sabrin, and silica is present. Okay, these are all considered as a cell wall material. Okay, wow. if a cellulose, I have been in that the cell wall is differentiated into three layers. Okay, one is a middle lamellae, and another one is a primary wall, and next is secondary wall. Okay, wow. so actually in the primary wall has a more hemicellulose and less cellulose is present. Okay, and at the same at the same time in the secondary wall we can see the more cellulose and less hemicellulose are present. Okay, but cellulose is the basic cell wall material in the plant. Okay, and next one is a pectin. Okay, so the pectin is very very important cell wall materials. Okay, actually the pectin is present in the middle lamellae. The middle lamellae is the So in the middle lamellae is consists of your that is your pectate. 
pectin that's a calcium and magnesium pectate is present there okay the pectin is involved in softening of the fruits okay the fruits would yeah and the layer on the soft agar okay in the pectin one the number of the amount of cell wall materials okay so that's a softening even the gelatinations like substance okay pectin is a gelatin like substance so which is induce the ripening in the fruit okay and another one is a lignin okay the lignin is a hard cell wall material so that is present in that the gymnosperm actually in the tracheids of gymnosperm and the vessels of that is a angiosperm it has a lignin okay apa xylem irukka koodiya and the elements what are the elements in the xylem the xylem consists of the tracheids isn't it and it has that xylem fibers okay so these are all made up of the lignin the lignified depositions appdi solluvom and the lignin inga deposit aagradunala da adu romba hard material ah irukku and what about in the cutin the cutin vandu edhula irukku appdi paathina cuticles okay so where is the cuticle the cutin is used to build up cuticle so cuticle is present on the leaf leaf oda outermost layer clear okay? so per leaf inga irukku appadina so the leaf oda outermost layer okay that's a upper surface appdi solla outermost layer solla bodu upper surface okay in the transverse section so that is above the epidermis epidermis oda mele irukka kudiya layer okay va so the epidermis is okay enclosed by the that is a cuticle okay when the cuticle is made up of cutin okay that's a waxy like substances the paakradhukku eppadi irukona wax maadhiri irukku illaya so waxy like substances which is protect the inner lying underlying tissues okay va underlying tissues na idhukku keela irukka kudiya epidermis that is a cortex endodermis ellathiyum protect pannum so what is the main functions of the cuticle they have to check the transpirations okay va so if the excess transpiration takes place in the cell so it is arrested by the cuticle okay and this is also protect the underlying tissues from any germs okay so idella cuticle oda functions okay the cuticle is made up of cutin abin solrom and next one vandu subbrain okay va so what is the subbrain so subbrain abingiradhu that is another cell wall material so which is present in which is present in the endodermis so subbrain edhula irukum abina endodermis so where is the endodermis endodermis are present in the next to the cortex okay the endodermis is present in the root okay in the dicot root we can see dicot and monocot root the endodermis are present okay so the endodermis is made up of subbrain okay so this is a immer impermeable in the conditions okay idu vandu or enga irukudho and edathula vandu this is induce the impermeable region impermeable na enna artham adu valiya endha or solution endha or liquid yum adu vandu enna padu allow pannadu okay it is not uh, pass any solution through this via so that is a subbrain okay va so in the endodermal region we can see that thickening in the radial and tangential wall thickening okay va so endodermal cells vandu eppadi irukum appadina this is the endodermal cells okay va so idhula pathinga na in the thickening so idhula pathinga appadina we can see the thickening this is a tangential wall thickening radial wall thickening vandu irukadu idhe endothesiyathula neenga pathinga na we can see the thickening in that radial and tangential wall okay that thickening is made up of subbrain the thickening edanal varudha na subbrain abinga oru porunala da varudhu okay va and next one is a silica okay because the presence of the silica the thorns are very very strong okay romba strong ah sharp ah romba adu vandu hard ah irukadhu reason enna appdin paathra silica okay idella vandu plant la irukkudiya cell wall material so what are the cell wall materials are present in pathing now cellulose hemicellulose pectin and lignin okay subbrain and silica is present so what are the layers in the plant cell wall or plant oda cell wall la enna enna layers la irukku appdin pathina so it has your primary wall first number one pathinga appdina middle lamella irukum next to the middle lamella we can see the primary wall and next to the primary wall we can see the secondary wall appdin solrom that is we can see very clear in the picture okay so what is the middle lamella so middle lamella is present between the cells cell galukku naduvula irukka kudiya da vandha enna solrom middle lamella so this is the middle lamella this is middle lamella okay ma and uh, this layer is a middle lamella next to the middle lamella is a primary wall and next to that primary wall that is your 
secondary layer okay wow. the secondary layer is uh, differentiated into the three layers okay sub layers s1 s2 s3 okay so next to the secondary layer we can see the cell cavity that is your cell lumen have been sold so in this lumen we can see all the cell organelles okay wow. cytoplasm protoplasm protoplasm next to the cytoplasm and all the cell organelles are embedded in this region idukulla da ella cell organelles me namakku irukku okay wow. so what are the three distinct regions in the plant cell wall abin ketanga na primary wall secondary wall and middle lamellae abin solrom okay so what is the primary wall okay the primary wall is present that's next to the middle lamellae okay that's the first layer inner to the middle lamellae abin solrom so the primary wall is consisting of adle eppadi irukum adhe vandu eppadi uruvanadhu abin paathinga na so loose network of cellulosic microfibrils abin solrom okay that is made up of cellulose with some fibers okay va and the microfibril oda chendathu so that is uh, that is a bounded in that in the gel like substance and the gel like substance abingadhu enna adha matrix okay so adle enna irukum appdi paathina matrix vandu irukum okay the matrix ku la idu vandu enna loosely arranged a irukku okay the microfibril are loosely arranged in the matrix matrix is a fluid like substances okay and the primary wall is very very thin and in the elastic in nature it can be extensible okay va nalla adu vandu extend aagakoodiya or nature irukku koodiya idu thin elastic and extensible appdi solrom just opposite to the secondary wall secondary wall la neenga paathinga appadina that is a very thick adhe mari in elastic okay that is not extend abingiradhu is a very hard okay hard material abingiradhu secondary wall okay va so the primary wall abingiradhu next to the middle lamellae and it is consisting of the loose network of cellulose microfibril is present okay va so what about in the secondary wall this is loosely arranged here in the secondary wall that is a compactly arranged okay nalla tight ah arrange panni irukum idu thin ah irukku adu thick ah irukku idu elastic ah irukku that is in elastic in condition okay so it has your the most of the plants has a microfibrils abin solrom illaya so the microfibrils are formed from the that is a micellae abin solla kudiya or material and the material endha microfibrils abingada form aagudhu so the arrangement of the microfibril the microfibrils vandu eppadi arranged aagukana so based on the arrangement of the microfibril we can see the different patterns okay on the cell cell oda shape adudey patterns ella changes aagum okay so microfibrils are made up of cellulose oriented differently based on the shape okay differently based on the shape and the shape vandu and the cellulose eppadi amanjirukko adukeetha mari adu maaridum and they have to thickness of the cell wall cell wall ku or thickness kudukka koodiyade paathina and the microfibril abingiradha so the matrix of the primary wall primary wall oda the cavity ulla solrom illa matrix the fluid ku enna la irukku abin paathina it has a hemicellulose pectin glycoprotein and water okay that is present actually hemicellulose abingad it has more hemicellulose in the primary wall it has more hemicellulose are present but less cellulose is present okay just compare to the secondary wall secondary wall la pathinga abina that has a less hemicellulose and but more cellulose is present okay wow. so what is the main compositions here abin pathina that's a hemicellulose and pectin okay so the pectin is present in the primary wall but what about in the secondary wall the lignin is present okay lignin vandu it will give it uh, gives uh, that's a better hard materials okay wow. it gives the strengthening to the secondary wall okay va idha vida the strength ah irukku abina because the presence of the lignin so what are the cell wall material is present in the matrix of the primary wall abin solumbodhu hemicellulose pectin glycoprotein and water is present okay so what are the functions of the hemicellulose okay and another one is a pectin and glycoprotein idu moodukku irukka koodiya functions enna abin paathina the hemicellulose is binds the microfibril okay hemicellulose vandu yaroda bind pannu appadina microfibril with matrix oda adha nalla oru oru rendukku sendu oru bind pannada adhu oru material ah form aaga mudiyum illaya so adha bind pannudhu glycoprotein enna pannu appadina they have to control the orientations of the microfibril microfibril oda and the conditions and their amaippa vandu control panna koodiyadhu adha vandu decide panna koodiyadhu na glycoprotein appdi nama solalam and pectin is the filled materials in the matrix matrix la and the colloidal particle varadukku adukku vandu or things venum illaya adha vandu fill pandradukku pectin vandu form aagum 
okay. So, that is the functions of hemicellulose and another one is a glycoprotein and the pectin. Okay, ma. So, what about in the primary cell bath which is present? The primary cell is present in the parenchyma and meristematic tissues. So, parenchyma cells are living cells. Okay. Almost all part of the plant body is made up of parenchyma cells. Okay. Meristems actually the tissues are divided into two. One is a meristematic region, meristems and another one is a permanent tissue. Okay. What is the main difference between that? In the meristems, the division is continuously takes place. Okay, that's a young and perpetual tissues. What about in the parenchyma? That is a devoid of divisions. Okay, and already permanent tissues are there. Okay, wow. upon the parenchyma meristems, they have only the primary wall. Okay, that's the primary wall. They have only primary wall. It's very important one more question. And next we are going to see the secondary wall, okay. Where is the secondary wall, okay. Next to the primary wall, we can see the very thickening layer that is the secondary wall, okay. The secondary wall is formed during the maturations of the cell, okay. Our cell nalala konja matured aga aram chirichana, aga secondary wall vandu form ayiru, abdeen soldra, okay va. So, it is play a key role in the determining the shape of the cell, okay. Our cell no vada here real and the rigidity and the urdhi tenmai kaana or shape vandu eppidi varu abdeena due to the secondary wall okay it is very very thick already i explained it's a very thick okay and in elastic in conditions okay so it has it is made up of cellulose and lignin so what about in the primary wall that is made up of hemicellulose and the pectin okay well, they have more hemicellulose here they have that it has more cellulose are present okay and the lignin is also present because the presence of the lignin the secondary wall is very very thick and the secondary wall is divided into three sub layers that is very very important thing ok. What are the sub layers in the secondary wall that is a S1, S2, S3 abdingra secondary sub layers one there ok. So, what is the S1? So, this is the S1 layer ok. So, here this is the S1 and this is S2 and this is the secondary wall S3 is present ok. So, what about the inner outermost layer now middle lamellae is present next to the middle lamellae primary wall next is secondary wall it has a S1, S2, S3 ok. You can see here. So, what are the cell wall materials are present in the S1, S2, S3 it has a cellulose, hemicellulose and lignin ok. So, where the pectin is present the pectin is present in the primary wall ok. So, this is uh, giving the shape to the, there is a compactly arranged, okay. What are the difference between that? The microfibrils are loosely arranged in the primary wall. This is compactly and tightly arranged in the secondary wall. Then only it is very, very thick and it gives strengthening to the secondary layer. So, the strengthening to the that wall and the cell wall nalala strengthening agaradhukki is very important okay ma. So, next is middle lamellae. So, middle lamellae is very very important point, uh, important layer which is used to connect the primary and secondary okay ma. So, it is the outermost layer which is made up of calcium and magnesium pectate. So, actually this is formed during the cytokinesis. So, what is the meaning of the cytokinesis? Cyto means that is a cytoplasm, okay. Kinesis means that is a division, okay. So, during the divisions in the cytoplasm that is formed, okay. That is a deposit at the time of cytokinin. This is an amorphous layer. It is like a cement, okay. So, they have to connect the adjacent cells, okay. So, all the cells are connected with the help of the middle lamellae, okay. This is a cement like structure. So, this is the inactive uh, in region, optically inactive. In the cell division, they do not have any cell divisions are here. Okay. So, next very important one plasmodesmata or pits. So, what is the plasmodesmata? Okay. The plasmodesmata is present on the cell wall. How it is formed? So, actually the secondary wall is uh, they, they have to lay the uneven thickening. Okay. Secondary wall abdeen gradu even thickening illama illa sila edangal na uneven thickening vandu rukko. So, and the uneven thickening nala so that region is very very thin. Okay. We can see some minute pores are present. So, that is known as a plasmodesmata. Okay. In the, the secondary wall thickening vandu nala even a irundu chay abdeen na 
thickening namakku irukadu okay va so due to the uneven thickening of the secondary wall layer we can see the thin layer in this region okay va but in this region that is a primary and middle lamella is here that is a continuous layer okay the even a thickening irukum idhula mattum uneven thickening irukum so because the present of the uneven thickening the pore is formed appdi solrom so that region is considered as a plasmodesmata so plasmodesmata is otherwise known as a pits appdi solrom this region is known as a plasmodesmata okay va is a pit region appdi solrom the pit consists of the pit chamber okay va the pit chamber appdina ad mulusa cheyindi that is a pit chamber okay so in the pit chamber we can see the small pores okay on the membrane okay that is your pit chamber ku la enna irukona small pores irukku illaya that is your pit chambering consists of the pores through this via so that is the protoplasm can exchange from one cell to another okay so what is the plasmodesmata plasmodesmata is actors here channel between the protoplasm of the adjacent cells okay or rendu cells ku nadulla irukka kudiya and the protoplasm example this is one of the cell illaya so appo inga irukkuri protoplasm inga move aagum inga irukkuri protoplasm inga move aagum illaya so they have to transport so through the membrane with the help of the pits so that is uh, main functions of the plasmodesmata through which the substances are uh, pass okay through this via the substances are passed so that is a plasmodesmata abin solrom plasmodesmata form aadhuk main reason enna abina uneven thickening of the secondary wall okay va so more over at few region ella region la nama vandu inda pores paaka mudiyadhu few regions of the cell the secondary wall layer is laid unevenly so whereas the primary wall and middle lamella are continuously such a regions are called the pits ஓகே ஸோ அப்போ எல்லாமே ஈவனாக இருந்துச்சுன்னா அந்த பிட்ஸ் நம்ம பார்க்க முடியாது ஓகேவா ஸோ எங்கே அந்த பிட்ஸ் இருக்கும் அப்படின்னா அந்த பிட்ஸ் இஸ் ஆப்போசிட் டு த செல் ஓகேவா ஸோ ஆப்போசிட் சேம்பர்லேயும் அந்த பிட்ஸை வந்து பார்க்க முடியும் யூ கேன் சி ஹியர் இட்ஸ் வெரி கிளியர்லி ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த ஆப்போசிட் சேம்பர் இந்த சேம்பர் தான் நம்ம என்ன சொல்கிறோம் அப்படின்னா ஆப்போசிட் சேம்பர் okay va so each pit has a pit chamber okay that is pits of adjacent cells are opposite to each other that the chamber vandu eppadi irukna opposite to the cell rendu chamber ku nadula opposite la adu irukudhu abingiranga each pit has a pit chamber the pit membrane okay va idu or pit chamber abina inda edathula vandu enna irukum or pit membrane irukum and the membrane ku mele or minute pores vandu irukku okay the pit membrane has a many minute pores they are they are permeable okay va so idu vandu permeable okay va permeable means they have to allow the substance from one cell to another okay the pits are two types so one is the simple pits another one is a bordered pits okay so we can see the bordered pits in the gymnosperm okay there are tracheids of gymnosperm and the vessels of angiosperm has a small pit like structure okay va so appo the bordered pits anga paakala simple pits abingara they have only the a pit is present a hole is present they don't have surrounded by any layer okay but here we can see the a layer is present around the pit and what are the functions of the cell wall just imagine it without a cell wall how the plant cell is look like okay va so plant and the cell wall illa appadina adanude structure vandu different ah irukum adanude defined shape nama vandu paaka mudiyadhu illaya so offers a defined shape and rigidity to the cell okay or shape kudukudhu adhe maari rigidity appdi solla koodiyadhu vandu enna na adanude strengthening the strengthening e vandu adu kudukudhu nu solrom and serve as a barrier for several molecules to enter the cells okay barrier they have to connect they can transport between the cells and provide the protection to the internal protoplasm against the mechanical injury okay cell wall illa appadina cell membrane romba 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 soft ah irukum endha mechanical injury vandhala easy ah adu ulla enna pannu protoplasm cytoplasm thavum disturb panniru okay va so that's a prevents the bursting of the cells by maintaining the osmotic pressure it's very very important process okay sometimes due to the high osmotic pressure the cells will be will burst it okay so that is prevent by that okay that is prevent the bursting of the cells by uh, osmotic regulation so the osmotic pressure would regulate that one proper regulate pannu okay va so play a major role by acting as a mechanism of defense for the cell they have to give some signaling to the internal tissues okay if any germs will enter to the plant cells okay definitely they have to give some signal to the cell organelles okay that is the functions main functions okay va so today we studied the cell wall 
and the cell wall consists of three layers okay that is your primary wall secondary wall and middle lamellae okay what are the cell wall materials are present in the different organism also we studied isn't it i hope you could understand this topic very well so now we have to recall the mcq based on that okay recall the mcq of cell wall so the middle lamellae is composed of dash that is composed of pectates okay that is a magnesium pectate or that is a calcium pectate i mean so on so the pectate or pectin is very very important cell wall material that is induce the ripening in the fruits okay softening the cell wall cell wall soft panni adha ripen panna vekkudhu cells such as a parenchyma and meristems they have what type of the cells that is a primary wall so correct okay the primary wall is only present in the parenchyma and the meristems and which is the thickest wall layer irukadhile edu thickest okay middle la amala va illa tertiary la primary wall la paathana the secondary wall is very very thickest among the three layers cell wall was first studied by robert hooke actually cell cell was first discovered by robert hooke isn't it okay next one who was observed the cell from a cork tissue in the 1665 yaar observe panna appadina we know very well that answer robert hooke okay he observed the cell so under the microscope on the honeycomb like structure illaya adha paathar next vandha enna appadina the bacteria is composed of peptidoglycan which part of the bacteria is made up of peptid glycan or mucopeptide i mean pathinga the cell wall of the bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan or mucopeptide okay so what is the matrix matrix means that is your the cavity consists of your a fluid okay cell irukka kudiya and the fluid so on the cell wall irukka kudiya fluid the matrix of the dash is composed of hemicellulose okay va more hemicellulose are present in the primary wall less hemicellulose are present in the secondary wall adanalla mind la yabagam vechukono primary wall la nariya hemicellulose irundhadu konjam cellulose irundhadu ana secondary wall la நிறைய செல்லுலோஸ் இருந்தது கொஞ்சம் வந்து என்ன இருந்தது ஹெமி செல்லுலோஸ் இருந்தது ஓகேவா நாட் ஓன்லி இந்த ஹெமி செல்லுலோஸ் ஹெமி செல்லுலோஸ் பிளஸ் பெக்டின் தட் இஸ் ஏ இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் செல் வால் மெட்டீரியல் இன் த பிரைமரி வால் ஹெமி செல்லுலோஸ் அண்ட் லிக்னின் இஸ் ஏ இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் செல் வால் மெட்டீரியல் இன் த செகண்டரி வால் the dash is laid during the maturation so okay which layer of the cell wall is laid during the maturation so that is the secondary wall we know very well so that is the secondary wall and dash is divided into three sub layers okay termed as s1 s2 s3 so actually secondary wall consists of a s1 s2 and s3 is present isn't it so dash is the outermost layer Uh, make up of calcium and magnesium pectate we know very well it's very very easy absolutely correct answer that is a middle lamellae okay a middle lamellae middle la irukka kudiya and the part okay so that is connect all the cells because they have a cement like structure and the cement like structure inga irundhu varudhu that is your pectate okay calcium and magnesium pectate and dash deposits the at the time of cytokinesis okay cytokinesis nadakkum bodu form aga kudiya layer edhu appdi paathina middle lamellae dash is a thin amorphous layer which is cements two adjacent cells okay we know that very easy answer middle lamellae okay so dash is act as your channel between the protoplasm of the adjacent cells rendu cell irukku nadula irukka kudiya protoplasm move aagudhu appadina adukku or gateway venum illaya so and the via edhu appadina that's a plasmodesmata the plasmodesmata is formed due to the uneven thickening of the secondary wall okay the dash has a many minute pores and thus they are permeable which region is permeable in the cell wall so that is a plasmodesmata okay plasmodesmata thavara vera end region um undu permeable kedaya that is a impermeable okay so how can that is permeable because they have a pit the pit consists of the chamber the chamber consists of the pores okay <coughs> through this pores they have to exchange the materials okay children thank you so much for your uh, supporting to our channel so keep on watching our channel thank you